Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you guys my planner lineup for the second half of 2018. So I did move into both of these Erin Condren planners for during the month of July, but I do have two happy planners that I have been using since last year and that I do plan to use for the duration of this year. Now I am sent free planners and everything so Obviously, this is all subject to change depending on who wants to send me something and what it is. But as of right now, this is the lineup that I have and what I intend to use for the duration of 2018. So let's just hop right into this video. So, my main squeeze is this Erin Condren Life Planner. It is in the colorful colorway and it is the hourly layout. And so, long story short, I use it pretty, 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 pretty functionally on the notes page. This is a social media challenge that I'm doing for the month of July. Here I have all of the events and such that my husband and I will be attending for the month of July. And then flipping to today, I have everything that I need to get done this week and pretty much the weekly plans that's essentially what's on this page and or these two pages and that's pretty much it obviously this planner started in July so I have all of this left this is an 18 month planner and that's pretty much all that I use this planner for as of right now so nothing really too fancy so this is my main planner it does stay on my desk over here in this clear actually I'll show you the whole thing <laughs> This is what it stays in and then I'll put the second planner that you're about to see back here or vice versa but it does stay over here on my desk. So the next planner is this Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner that was sent to me. Both of these were sent to me um, by the folks at Erin Condren. So this is my budget planner. As you can see it says SB which stands for Shape Budgets and so I have been using this for all of like five days and I have our monthly bills here and also these are like our quarterly bills or biannual bills and even a yearly bill there so it's pretty much just all of our bills so that we do not forget them then I have highlighted all of the events for the year 2018 and I did stop at December 2018 and it's just pretty much any event that would require us to spend money because this is our budget planner. And then I have further gone into detail about what those events actually are. And so that's what's going on over here. And moving into July, this is where our goals are. Now I was doing like a mock budget for the month of July. I was holding this because the pen made it weird. <laughs> the pen, I don't feel like being bothered with that so I was just holding it. But I was doing kind of like a mock budget for the month of July, not really a mock one, just like a trial run because I was trying to see, you know, what this planner had to offer, how I was going to use it. I do have a system for the month of August, so definitely consider sticking around for that because I think it's going to be way better. But I did have our goals over here and then I know what I'm going to use this section for in August, but it's blank as of right now. On the monthly spread, I have all of our bills, paydays all of that good stuff and yeah that's pretty much it for for the monthly spread then I have our overall budget over here if you are not aware we are budgeting off of one income for various reasons but I'll link the July budget with me up here in the eye in the sky and it'll all make sense it's not for any other reason other than because we think that that's going to help us to stay on track with meeting our financial goals and with paying off debt and saving and all of that good stuff so it'll make sense if you see that video I have this sheet these two sheets or really these three sheets for expenses this was going to be like our regular expenses but I don't think I could probably literally just rip this out but I don't think that we're going to use we're going to be using this at all it was just kind of to show you guys if I get free planners and everything I feel like the least I could do well I give a lot of them away first of all and then the ones that I don't give away I do like to keep them to share with you guys how I would use the planners and so if I didn't track expenses electronically or if I didn't feel like it or because I kind of go back and forth I would definitely use these two pages for tracking 
expenses. This is YouTube expenses. I think I am going to have a section in my planner every month for that. Definitely. Um, so I think that's going to be staying. So I think I've decided what's going to take place and, and what's not going to take place. This is the notes page for the month of August. And this is pretty much all that I've done with this planner. It does have a bunch of note pages back here. I've yet to use any. Um, if ever I wanted to do like a paycheck to paycheck budget, which I haven't really had to do recent as of lately, I would probably do that back here because I normally use pen and paper for that and that's what the paper's for. I do have a treatment plan here for the dentist and then some stickies back here, but that's pretty much it. Again, I've only been using this planner for all of like, I don't know. Um... I literally got it like five days ago if that probably not even that so here's the acrylic little box and people ask me where I get the, where I've gotten this from and although it says simply brilliant by design styles pretty sure I got this from home goods and it has a white back and it just stays over there so the next planner is my tried and true mini happy planner which has been around for a very long time especially this one it is used as a wallet and just as an on-the-go planner so I have May June July and August in here and if we flip to let's just flip to July monthly it is kind of like a miniature version of what's in my Erin Conjun life planner and it pretty much has all of the events and such for the month of July and then if we flip to this week this is again it's like a miniature version now I would say I, I don't even want to say this but if any of these planners had to go it would be this one I could live without this one however the planner itself was literally eight dollars I don't really see the point in I don't know like purchasing a notepad of some sort whenever I can just purchase like an actual planner because I've always carried around a notepad and a pen I was that kind of girl even when I was a little kid and so I've always done that and I just feel like it's really just like an eight dollar fancier version of like a notebook so like when we go to events let me show you we will take notes in here like this for example every time we go to like an event or anything like that we'll just take notes in here so again it's just like a a little bit more expensive version of like a notebook um and yeah we have everything in here so that's finally coming off i guess well there we go so mini happy planner is still around this is in my purse at all times so this is these two are on my desk this one is in my purse and then we come to the classic happy planner and this stays at work or stays in my work bag so I don't really look at this after I leave work this is my work planner and so I have to have a work planner because trying to keep up with all of this would just be a hot mess literally I, I couldn't even do the job if I couldn't like if I didn't have some place to keep up with everything that I was supposed to do and so I don't ever open this I don't even think I can open it nope I can't even open a little bit well I can open this so this is what it looks like and I always put all of my to do's up here so I can't show you the week but it's completely filled up all of my to do's up at the top and then I have every place I'm supposed to be you know Monday through Friday I don't work on the weekends obviously well I do YouTube stuff on the weekends but I don't work my full-time job on the weekends usually um, sometimes there's like an event or something that I'll go to but and then I will put my top three goals over here anything that I'm supposed to do and then I just check it off for the entire week and I, I actually really really like this and so I do have like some a few stickers back here but I don't actually use them because I don't use the stickers in here because I don't feel like it and then yeah that's pretty much it and so that is my planner lineup. I always like to do these because I feel like people are like, how many planners are you using now? Even though I don't really understand why people ask that. Because if I wanted to use like 29 planners, I would. It would probably make me a little different. But I still would if I really wanted to. Or I could if I wanted to. But I always like to show my lineup just so everyone's clear and on the same page and don't have any questions because... Um, yeah, I'm just answering questions before they come. So this is my planner lineup, two Erin Condren's, two Happy Planners, 
and I have been liking this setup so far. This is actually my favorite planner. Again, it could probably go, just judging by the amount that I, I use this the least. Yeah, I use this the least out of all of them. So in terms of that, it could probably go, but I'd have a real issue splitting with my mini happy planner. But this is my main planner, my catch-all planner, where my life is housed. And then this is the newest edition. It is the budget planner that I have um, reviewed and decided to use as well because if I'm going to get a planner in the mail to review I'm probably going to use it because why not so that's what's going on with that planner I could also condense that budget planner and like compile it with this planner as well if I wanted to so I could really just be using this planner for like my whole life but again that's kind of part of being a youtuber is that you get free stuff and whatnot so I just take advantage of it and then this is my happy planner which I wouldn't have to I don't technically need to use a happy planner for work but we are given planners at the beginning of the year they're normally not my cup of tea really just not cute at all so I normally always get my own planner so that is where this one comes in so this is probably the second most important I'd say planning my own life is <laughs> my own personal life is the most important and then my work life is probably second so anyway that's my planner lineup for July to maybe December 2018 I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye guys